and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering it's surgical and often speaking, kindly tell me what is this that you're looking at? This is a gross anatomy of a cubital fossa. Yes. Can you tell me the boundaries of cubital fossa? So superior laterally, there is brachioradialis, yes. medially pronated arteries. And uh, roof is formed by skin, superficial and deep fascia. Floor is formed by brachialis muscle. Okay, good. What are the contents of uh, cubital fossa? Uh, it contains uh, tendon of biceps muscle laterally. Uh, from lateral to medial, it is tendon of biceps, um, at, uh, brachial artery and median nerve. Okay, can you tell me? Can you identify the structures from A to G, H? Can you identify yes, A? It's, uh, a is median nerve. Okay, B. B is, pro B is pronator teres muscle. C. Uh, C uh, e is a uh, brachial artery, which divides into uh, uh, ulnar and radial arteries. So that makes and C and H. Okay, what is D? D is uh, cephalic vein. Okay, good. Uh, F, please. Uh, F is uh, tendon of biceps brachii. And uh, G is uh, brachioradialis. Yes. Can you uh, tell me? H. Yes. Yes, yes. please. Yes. Uh, H is radial artery. Can you please tell me about the about the reflexes of the upper arm, upper limb? Yes, ma'am. It's a uh, biceps, uh, yes. reflex triceps, and supinator. Yes, biceps um, is bi root value. Biceps is C five, C six. Triceps. So, uh, and supinator both are C5, C6, and uh, triceps is C7. Okay, can you tell me uh, el about elbow joint? What type of joint is elbow joint? It's a synovial, uh, synovial hinge joint. Yes. How is it articulated or formed? Uh, it is formed be between uh, uh, the lower end of uh, humerus, uh, the capitulum of the humerus articulates with radial head. Uh, trochlea of the humerus articulates with uh, trochlear notch or semilunar notch and olecranon of the olecranon fossa on the humerus posteriorly articulates with olecranon process of ulna. Okay, good. Can you tell me the muscles of the forearm? Uh, uh, here, if you could uh, identify the muscles of the forearm. Or if you can tell uh, me how the muscles of the forearm are formed or structured. Uh, muscles of forearm can be divided into anterior, posterior, and medial ward group. Yes. Anterior compartment is divided into superficial and deep compartment. Uh, and uh, also posterior compartment is divided into superficial and deep compartment. Superficial muscles of anterior forearm are... Uh, Flexor digitorum superficialis, palmaris longer, pronator teres, uh, flexor carpi radial, uh, uh, flexor carpi radialis, and flexor carpi 
al nervus. Okay. The deep muscles are pronator quadratus. Yes. And flexor pollicis brevis and yes. flexor digitorum profundus. Good. Can you tell me uh, the force of uh, force uh, of if you can tell me the medial about medial cubital vein? Yes, and the force uh, medial of the cephalic vein. Uh, yes, uh, cephalic vein uh, originates in the anatomical snuff box. Uh, yes. It is continuation of dorsal uh, palmar uh, arch, venous arch, laterally. La uh, in the lateral border of the fore uh, forearm, it ascends and comes on the palmar aspect. Then it ascends uh, in the uh, arm. Let, uh, then it uh, pierces, uh, uh, runs along the deltopectoral groove to pierce clavipectoral fascia and it drains into axillary vein. Okay. Can you tell me where is olecranum uh, located? What is Olecrin it? Yes. Olecranon process, uh, it's, a proce uh, it's, a, it's located in upper border of ulna. Yes. And it articulates with olecranon fossa of the lower border of the humerus yes. posteriorly. Uh, what are the muscles or structures which insert onto it? Uh, the triceps, uh, triceps uh, muscle is uh, inserted yes. on olecranon. What about flexor carpi ulnare? Arises from it. Okay. Yes. Can you tell me uh, if median nerve in, gets injured at the elbow, how would uh, the deformity present or how would be the complication with which patient will present? Uh, median nerve injury at elbow will, pre uh, be, will present with a uh, hand of benediction. When we ask patient to make a fist, patient uh, 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 he is unable to flex uh, the lateral two digits. Also, thumb, he is unable to flex the thumb uh, and do any upon uh, the flexion and oppo uh, opposition of thumb. Can you tell me the cutaneous distribution of the median nerve? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, in the palm, uh, lateral two third of the palm uh, and uh, lateral three and a half fingers, palmar surface, and uh, tip of la lateral three and a half fingers, dorsal surface. And tip of index, middle, and thumb. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, what would be the deformity with which patient will present if there is ulnar nerve which damages at uh, elbow? Patient will present with partial ulnar flow hand in, involving yes. fourth and fifth digits. And uh, if uh, 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 the cloying is less prominent as compared to the distal injury. Good. Okay. Uh, right. This was it from the. We still have forty seconds. So what more I can ask you? Okay. What are the movements which are present at elbow joint? It's flexion, extension, pronation, and supination. What are the muscles which are responsible for these movements? Uh, Flexion is caused by biceps brachii, brachialis, brachioradialis, pro, uh, pronator teres, and uh, flexor carpi radialis. Extension is caused by triceps, uh, triceps. Pronation is caused by pronator teres, and supination is caused by supinator and uh, other extensor come uh, uh, assisted by. What do you understand by the term ulnar paradox? Uh, 